in this short video we're going to explore SK actions. Previously we were just clicking all over the place and it was moving, but now we're going to sequence some of these actions to make it look a little bit more pretty. Uh, so number three is going to be allowing it to glide between uh, the different positions where we tap. So I'm just going to comment out line 29, which is where my square position was modified, and I'm going to define an action. So let action equal SK action. And there's different actions that we can use here. So these are all built into that sprite kit. So if I use the dot modifier, I can then find the move, and then I can move it to that different location. And we can also set the duration, so how long it actually takes to move there as well. Okay, from there I've got my action. I need to apply that action to my square. So square dot run, and then I can run that action. We're going to play with these actions a lot because they're pretty fundamental to development of games. But now, as I click, it'll glide to it. So obviously if it's a closer position, it's going to take less time to get there. So it slows down the animation, otherwise it's a long animation. But either way, it should only take one second to get to that new location. So number four, the next thing we're going to do is to sequence some of these actions. So perhaps you want it to spin as well as move. And this is going to show you how you can do that within SK Actions. So I've defined this action. This is my move action. So I'm going to rename that one. And I'm going to create a second action. So this one will be let rotate. This will also be an SK action. But instead of move, I'm going to look for rotate by angle. I'm going to change the angle. So I'm going to change it by 90 degrees and again set the duration for this as well. So now I have these two actions, I need to actually sequence them. So I can sequence them with, as you guessed, skaction.sequence. And the sequence will ask for a list, as you can see there. So all I need to do is define how I want these to appear. So I'm gonna make it move first, and then comma, and then rotate. So that's my list of actions. So we can do as many as we want. We can also sequence them in different ways as well. And then of course, don't forget to run that sequence. So now we should rotate and move. So we see as it gets to the point, that point, it actually rotates as well. So this is a very simple how we can use SK actions in order to animate our sprites that we have created.